Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with my brother, Nux. Hello. And he's here to join me for us going over what's coming up next month in Fago. I was about to say Trigalia Lost because that's just built into me. Uh, why is my brother here? Well, I have trouble keeping up and this is maybe the hardest thing in the world to keep up with. So let's try and very clearly establish it right now. We are going into August. Fago NA is two years ahead. Now, here's the thing. In August, that's when they had uh, basically the end of the Avalon and their anniversary. We had the anniversary in July. Here's the other thing. Let's look back at June. Nero Fest, still not here. And as of this recording, still not confirmed. Still not here as of July 25th, 9 p.m. Yes. And... Yeah, that's really weird. So let's go over what we think would probably be coming over, be coming in August. Also, I'll be in Vegas, so I actually can't read a lot of your comments, but please don't leave your comments. <laughs> Feel free to talk amongst yourselves as we figure this out. So anyway, Grand Nero Fest. This is supposed to be come. This was supposed to be already here. It was skipped, and now it's probably going to be coming. This is the second time I've started a video saying I'm pretty sure Nero Fest is coming. Uh, still not here though. Likely to be coming. It is a lot of style event. In order to you to actually play it, you would have to have already beaten Fuyuki. 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 Okay. Are you sure it's not Fuyuki? I don't know how to say it. Fair enough. All right. Neither do I sometimes. But yeah, Nero Fest. That's supposed to be coming up. There's a banner that features uh, Bride Nero and um, all the previous Nero Fest banner units. So Bryn Helder, yeah, Bryn Hel Nero, Nero Claudius herself. That's right. That's I forgot. A four star. I, I forgot that the first one debuted with a four star. You're right, a limited four star. So yeah, still expected to be coming. But hey, hopefully soon. Who knows? But anyway, what else could potentially be there instead of Nero Fest? We already had this. And we also had um, a surprise banner come up as well, so that's not coming either. Hunting Quest, this could be here. Hunting Quest Part um, 11. 11. And this also needs to have cleared Fuyuki, at least a Chapter 3. And these are Hunting Quests, and they also come with limited missions where you can get some apples. All you need to do is clear a Hunting Quest, not too bad. And let's see what the drops are for this Hunting Quest. We got Bones, including on Pride. Bones. We've got... Uh, are these crystals? The, I think they're just the uh, octopulate twin crystals. Okay. I thought they were like leaves. And then apparently on the hardest, no. Depending on the stage, one enemy might be replaced with a magical stick, which drops two million. And a homunculus baby. Is there anything here? Depending on it's the, the stage. The same thing. Okay, so we just randomly might get a magical stick. What does the magic stick look like? It's wow. the uh, Prisma Ilya thing. So this has to be tied with Ilya then. Okay. Maybe. Got you. Uh, next, Hermit Crab Hunt, which features uh, shells. shells. Oh, this one's different. Mm, is it? Yeah. In it's uh, dropping this... two mil in uh, one of those halos. Oh, you're right. It's dropping two million and a crown of the Radiant Silver, but still a magical stick. The Chimera and Hassan Hunt, where the Chimeras have teamed up with the Hassans, where you can get a Beast Talent of Chaos and a Void Refuse. And then also a chance to get two million and a crown, a crown of radiant silver. Uh, the Allerune and the Ghoul Hunt. Oh, this features cherries and steaks. I need these cherries actually. The Fruit of Longevity and the Knight of the Weeping Iron Steak, which are just steaks. And instead, the Magical Step drops two million and an Aurora Steel. <laughs> I didn't know that this also had a Miniku fight. Miniku and the Rainbow Wyvern Hunt, which features Miniku and a White River Wyvern, which you can get the Mirror and the Dragon Fang, and then this one, the Aurora Brother Alice and 2 million. Okay. Is there anything here that you're looking for in the Hunting Quest Boy? No. Really? Nothing here that you need to grant? Not even the fruits? Maybe the mirrors, but that's it. Really? I think from this, I, I'm similar in that I only think I need to grind one thing. Because the rest of these I have I plenty of. I need the hero of. proofs, but hopefully Nero Fest will come. Yeah, Nero Fest is where you get the hero proofs. That's where you're going to be able to grind for those, but... we're not gonna... bones. Yeah, bones you can never really do too much. Actually, I have plenty of bones. I think I still have like something around like maybe 300 bones. Just because I stock hoard all the bones. Like, all of these bronze style, if there was ever a chance for us to grind them, I immediately ground them to at least 200. And I haven't really used them since. 
That's because uh, it's mostly used on skills, and those skills are like 50 bones a pop. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, that's why I usually keep some in the background. But yeah, other than this one um, over here, not too much for me. It is kind of nice, the idea of just getting 2 million. Because these are randomly. actually... Randomly. Yeah, randomly. Very funny. That's why they recommend you bringing the, the Bella Lisa and the Mona Lisa just for... So just double it. Yeah, by like ten percent. Interesting, interesting for sure. But yeah, the, the hunting quest could be coming in. When hunting quest, obviously we would get if we get the hunting quest, that means we're also getting the Prisma Ilya, which will feature enhancement campaigns for the, Ilya, for Ilya, Summer Ilya, uh, Miyu, and Chloe, and, and then the actual strengthenings are for Ilya and Miyu. The other two don't get buffs. Not no, yet. not not for Chloe, not just yet. No, Chloe. When I remember when she released was good. You're uh, you're she's worth. She's still pretty good. She's still pretty good. I'm pretty sure she's one of the best single targets. To Touching be free in to play. with the Chloe fandom to hear that yes, Chloe's still doing it, even though <laughs> not much update needed. You think? Maybe to her like. She has a one turn buff like Emia does for Buster Arts and Quick. Uh -huh. If you remember that Emia skill. I do. I think she needs an upgrade to that, but I don't think it gets it. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying there. Okay, very interesting. Summoning, and then of course you can also summon, which you can get Ilya, which is the main 5 star, Summer Ilya, and Miyu, which are both, all of these are limited. And Miyu is like crazy crossover limited, so very hard to get. So if you're a big fan, oh, also the most important thing, the Azure Magical Girl, which I wish I could actually af afford to get this maximum limit broken. I have one. I'm gonna go for more. I kind of wish I could. I don't have justify. Ilya or Mi Miu, so that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. I have both. I have everything on this banner. You have Ilya, Ilya, and Miu. Yeah. So knowing my luck, I would just get like my third MP copy of Ilya. I think I have her MP too, but I'm not actually 100% sure. It was one of those summons where I'd summoned it to be like, wouldn't it be funny? My friend who went like 2,000 deep to get for one copy of Ilya, wouldn't it be funny if I just did a single summon, a multi, and I just got her? Yeah. But, you know, and obviously I got her. Free pity days are crazy. They were. He went crazy. I think he had lurked long time uh, friend of the channel. I think he went maybe close to 5,000 quarts overall to get a single Ilya back in the day. 5,000? I'm pretty sure. He got NP5 Mirasaki Shikabu before ever getting a single copy of Ilya back when they had the, the two shared banners. He had to stop because he's like, I, I have her NP5. I can't continue. And, yeah. he, and he's hated her since. <laughs> he's hated Mirasaki Shikabu. That's a shame. Yeah. I agree. I would gladly take that MP5. But yeah, I remember that. He was one of the... And then he also went through a similar circle with um, Setonia. Setonia, I think, ended up taking 3,000. Setonia. Yeah. He's Ew. a big Ilya fan, though. Huge Ilya fan. Huge, huge. Okay, so now we'll go into September, early September, because this stuff could also be coming. Caldea Summer Caldea Adventure. Summer. Yeah, and this if this does come, I don't expect any of the other stuff in September to come early. And apparently we already got this. Someone corrected me. Yeah, and said, we have yeah. this. I have that. Okay, yeah, we ha we got this, so we're good. So this would likely be the next thing. And if they wanted to push it, push the interlude campaign early, so we may as well look at uh, interlude campaign look seventeen the real quick. Pre-release campaign for Caldea Summer too. Oh yeah, that's right. There was a pre-release campaign. Okay, we'll include this here. But we'll look at, just in case they do end up pushing this early. Here's what it's got on the interlude campaign. They've got uh, Ibuki. Okita, Vrit, Vritaria, Vitra, Vitra. Sure, let's go with that. I was giving a I weird reflection that did not exist. I know it's not like a real thing, but like I'm just gonna say Vitra or something. Sure, Charlotte, uh, Okita, Alter, and then Van Gogh. Uh, some of the only two of these being actual like strengthenings, and the others just being two ports. Sure, Okita and Okita, of course. Both Okitas, the Okita brothers. Other campaigns, which features consecutive login bonus, which is just a, a ticket on day one and a ticket on day five, and you can get an enhancement for these servants, as long as, uh, as well as interlude one half AP and then main story one fourth AP, because they're just like you know what, wouldn't you be great if you just kept doing the story? Please keep doing the story. Then we have a summoning campaign, which features Okita Alter and Van Gogh. Uh, and this has it like broken up, but obviously we're gonna do it. It's different on NA because this was before pity time So it's gonna be like split up. Yeah, chances are Okita first and then Van Gogh That's what I would assume the way it would go anyway, so great units. Yeah, I like Okita and I like Van Gogh. I wish I had Van Gogh 
Uh, yeah, same. Yeah. We man. both didn't get her. No, well, one of the very few videos where neither one of us actually got the the five star. Typically, one of us gets it just by pure luck and happenstance, but no, we were, both of us failed that day. But anyway, the Caldea Summer Adventure pre-release campaign, which is a login bonus, which you can get for seven days, which you can get a quartz on day three, six, and seven, and some apples on the other two days. There's a servant campaign. During the entire can duration of the campaign, the following servants will have double the chance to get great suck and super suck, and one half AP for their interludes and strengthenings. Oh, basically every single they summer They said unit. if you were in summer, you can get your, your funny up. They said, are you still having an underleveled mash? Please level your mash. It's like a necessity. Yeah, by I lost belt part by the lost belts. Yeah, yeah, it really is. But apparently, there are some people who just never level up their mash. That's very sad. It is. Level up your mash, everyone. Do her right, and get her skills to level ten as well. It's not that hard. <laughs> Summoning campaign. The which, pirates. Yes. AKA. Hey, yes, we did an entire pirate-themed uh, summer event and did not release Summer uh, Drake. Yeah. I remember. I actually, this is all flooding back to me. I remember being extremely pissed <laughs> that Drake did not get a summer outfit. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's so weird. It's entirely summer themed, and she never got one. Oh, so annoying. I think none of the pirates got anything. Well, yeah, but it's because the 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 girl boss pirates over here, Anne Bonnie and Mary Reed, they already got a summer outfit, so they can't give them a summer outfit. You're one summer get. unit. Yeah, they are deep, deep, deep lore on here. In terms of this banner, you can get a lot of the old summer CEs, and you can also get uh, Nemo, Drake. I assume that the banner will be broken up where one of them will be Drake and one of them will be Nemo. Don't know if they would do one unit per to each or They do have like been that. doing that. So chances are the, the pirates would stick with the pirates and Nemo would stick with uh, Jane. Calamity Jane. Uh, all through these two are actually limited because I forgot when I first mentioned this I thought this was the other and Bonnie and Mary Reed the writer one But no, it's summer. So this one's this one's limited and Calamity Jane is limited for some reason Yeah, Don't, it's because she's uh, in the space safe. Ishtar event. Yeah, but that's that's weird, isn't it? Why is it weird? Aren't most four stars related to an event not limited in that way? I feel like there's very few it times. It began to not be that way anymore. I guess they consider the wider universe of like I can understand it for four stars that are from like another place, but Calamity Jane just feels like Calamity Jane's been in the game for a while. She just barely yeah. released then. Yeah, it's, it's no, always felt weird. No one me. knows about that lore. Yeah, the deep lore of people saying Calamity Jane is coming when it was like year one in the early data mines or something. Yeah, she exists in there along with a lot of other units actually. But anyway, this is a banner that if you somehow for whatever reason want to get. <laughs> Nemo or Drake or one of the pirates or Calamity Jane, you could definitely try for it. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get summer units. Um, I don't think the summer pirates are actually very good, though. No, you would be better off with the Rider version. Yeah, uh, they're kind of like summer Hijikata, where they really need to be like summer low. Hijikata. Just regular Hijikata, my bad. The Pickle Man, uh, regular Hijikata, who's like you want him to have super low HP. Yes. Um, but I don't think they're really super built take advantage of that because they're like a year one servant yeah the rider version barely got the way to remedy that entire gimmick mm -hmm. and i think hijikata got it a couple months back he did he did so they still need their version of a strengthening of some kind but yep that's what this banner and then finally we have actual summer the big one the big one the big kahuna we i skipped a banner from this completely but this one has summer okita alter anastasia charlotte and then we have on the male side Achilles Mandicardo. He's also getting a summer outfit, but he's not featured because he's just always existing. Blackbeard, yeah, uh, Edward Teach, Edward Teach, uh, everyone's favorite One Piece villain. And then we have Banner Two for the ladies, which is Kama Avenger, Canis, and Sai. I'm saying her name wrong. For some reason, I'm putting Sai. Sai, maybe. Sai. Okay. I feel like sometimes someone says I'm replacing the E with an A when I'm saying it. Really? Yeah, say Shanogan. 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 She has another name. I just forgot what it to call it. I also feel like our specific callbacks to Onaga, the Dragon King, is also fucking me up a little bit when I look at Onaga. We've been talking about Onaga a bit too much. We have been a lot just on our daily day to day lives. Well, you missed this one. Yeah, I missed You're... this. <laughs> I missed this banner, and a lot of people let me know saying, "Hey." 
you missed Summer Doman. And I said, I didn't miss Summer Doman. He's next year. And they're like, no. Um, he re-ran this year. Yes. And I was like, why are there two Summer Doman banners? And the reason is is that he's super popular and a lot of people like him. He he's is also, the number one male. He is the number one male. He's super liked. He's super strong. And Talking in general. about the exact opposite, Christopher Columbus. And then we have Christopher Columbus, Nature's Mistake. Yeah. Everyone's the, the one where everyone goes, I really wish that artist had a better character <laughs> related because it seems like they're really giving it he their really, all. He's really giving them all. He draws a lot of Columbus and they're pretty good. No one gasses up Columbus harder than the, the drawer of Columbus. That is true. You would assume this man was a VTuber based off of the amount of art that he gives to Columbus and the amount of just like love he gives to Columbus. It's his son. It is basically his son, which is a real shame that it's Christopher Columbus. If it was any other unit, I would kind of get behind it, but it is Christopher Columbus. Columbus and I don't like Columbus. I don't either, but I have them. Yeah, I don't have them. I've actively tried to avoid getting them, and I've, it's been going on pretty strong. So summoning on this banner. <sighs> I guess I would just wait a year, to be honest. Do you think they're ever going to release the Kid Columbus uh, as an outfit? People have been asking for that. I know that's another like costume that got added. Mm. People are like, well, why didn't you release a costume for Columbus if he was in the event? It's a very good question. <laughs> and, and the thing is, is Mandy Cardio was the three star who got it. It's true. If they ever released Kid Columbus, I'll summon for Columbus. Yeah. That's only it. If they ever released Kid Columbus. I feel like Columbus. that's like a spoiler for the story. I don't know if we should be talking about this. No, it's fine. Enough people know. Oh, enough people know. If they, it's kind of like Kid... It's like the, he, Kid Columbus is like the positive version of Kid Fergus. Yeah, it is the a literal alter to Christopher Columbus. Yeah building it up and stuff i think eventually anyway this banner i'm sorry i forgot about it doman's very good if this is your chance of getting doman i would still say wait a year because you know i would always to be fair this isn't a bad banner it's a limited it's two limiteds to be fair yeah you're right it is actually a pretty actually let me look at the his next year's banner to see how as was much on it because maybe you're right. Maybe the next year's summer banner featuring him on it just isn't as good as this banner. Arctic Summer War. Oh, that's right. The, because we never got a rerun of Summer, they were okay mail. with releasing them. Yeah, mail. It was as it, They're both pretty good. <laughs> it's AC Plus. Yeah! Man, do I have MP5 AC Plus? As much as I hate Christopher Columbus, his kit is pretty okay. And he is a good looper. It definitely feels like if you're you're not going to be that bad off. There are literally worse banners that you could summon that feature Doman, I think, eventually somewhere down the line. But either way, he's good enough of a unit. It's probably worth the risk to try it. And if you don't care about any of these other summer units, which I do care about them, I think it'd probably be worth trying for him here. Yeah, everyone has their own for mm -hmm. this summer. It, it's true. It's true. And yeah, that's kind of what it's look at. And like the actual event itself, I have no idea what it's about other than it's pirate themed and treasure I'll, hunting. Treasure hunting. Yeah, I usually wait for the actual event so I can enjoy it and have fun that way. But that's really all what it's looking like for August. Now, here's the thing: we're probably gonna film a separate video talking about this, uh, and hopefully by the time this releases, it's not super outdated. But for some reason, the Fago uh, NA side on Twitter is streaming the JP anniversary. First ever. First ever time? And that's weird enough to make the conspiracy, put on the conspiracy theory hat and go, what if we get an event same time? Because why else would NA be brad broadcasting Japan, something that we don't get for two years? Something that the people actively are against. Yeah. Too. They're like, we don't want people to like know what's coming in the future. That man on the panel said, if you say any spoilers, I'm kicking you out. Exactly. And Everyone knew. And they were stopping it right there. They even said that. Yeah. They're like, no, we stopped the panel and you're getting out of here. That's how serious they are about like not spoiling what's coming ahead. So what do they have on the JP side that would potentially get them to over there? I don't know. We can talk harder. But that's what the, I'm just mentioning it as, hey, maybe that's something that comes in August. <laughs> if for whatever reason that actually happens, that'd be insane. There will but, be an emergency video coming out featuring only me. <laughs> featuring only my brother because I will be in Vegas. <laughs> and I will send him the video and say upload it. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. 
But yeah, that's potentially all the stuff coming in August. And yeah, thank you very much. That's the end of the video, everyone. As always, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will be in Vegas, so unfortunately I can't read the comments, but uh, I can't comment back, but I can probably actually still read them from my phone. Uh, it's actually kind of a pain in the ass to comment from the phone, which is why I don't do it for the most part. But uh, thank you very much for the support. It's been pretty nice. It's been pretty weird to have people actually comment on videos. Because I'm used to people not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more like occasionally three or four people, which is why I always get in the habit of like replying back because I'm like, oh yeah, hey, what's up? But now it's getting into an abundance. It's a lot of people. I can't answer everyone, not without spending entire hours of my life sitting there and going through all of it. But uh, just know that I do at least try and read all of it and yeah, can't reply to everything. But thank you very much. I appreciate it a whole bunch and we appreciate it. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Say goodbye, boy. Goodbye. Stop the cord.